The damage was done by a barrier which uh, came through the car, from left hand side and exit uh, back of the car, penetrating completely the car. And yeah, uh, it was uh, unlucky and lucky. You can you can see it in both ways. Uh, 10 centimeters to the right, it will be okay, and probably will stop on the engine block. 10 centimeters to the left, it will not be here. Are you stronger mentally now than before because of the? You know, uh, that's the uh, that's uh, that's good question. Uh, there was a period where my my brain was not, my head was not accepting uh, my limitations or refusing, let's say, my limitations. The best rehabilitation was driving, actually. I, I see a much better curve and much more improvements when actually I started uh, rallying. Once I was driving the car, I didn't think anymore about my limitations. So, and that was really. Uh, relief. The time is uh, a medicine also, you know, uh, you start forgetting how you were. I always uh, laugh, as, like people say, how is it? I say, well, I have better days, but I have worse days in my life. So uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter, you know, the things is moving and I'm looking forward and, uh, and trying to, as I say, to find the ways of doing things with uh, in the new way. What was the, the support that you was getting? Was it from your family? From, you know, how important was that to have? I was l lucky. Uh, yeah, I have to say, I was lucky to get the uh, right people in the right place, for sure. And uh, it's not only my effort, but it's effort from everybody which actually contributed to uh, that I'm here. So I would like to thank them, starting from hospital, starting from uh, surgery, and uh, ending up with uh, people who were close to me, my friends. And uh, probably I have less friends than before uh, when I stopped racing in F1, <laughs> uh, but I have uh, more valuable friends. What about the incident itself? So, you know, I had it with my foot where it was sort of, uh, sort of taken half off. You had it very similar with your arm in the same way. How do you cope with that? What do you change to sort of enable yourself to actually drive a car, especially a Formula One car? Actually, first meeting we had in Renault, I said, OK, I will do it. I'm happy and I appreciate the opportunity, but uh, you know, I say there is a risk that I will do five laps and I say I cannot do it anymore. And uh, actually after three laps in Valencia, I realized uh, we, are, we have one powerful thing which we underestimate, is our brain. There is uh, limitations. I do most of the things with the left hand, but it's normal. If you are right-handed, you put, uh, for example, the buttons which you use most of the time, you put it on the right-hand side. So I, I practically what I did is, uh, High priority buttons or the most frequent use buttons are on the left hand side, the low priority are on the right hand side. The most important stuff is that I'm able to do it and uh, you know everybody has to, to put their own opinion but that's, that's, uh, that's how we live. What's the goal? The goal would be to be on the grid one day and uh, if I'm here, if I manage to, uh, did, uh, to arrive where I am, I think uh, the limits are uh, being passed and uh, I think uh, I feel actually quite confident that I will be able to do this. You've got many many fans out there well, you've worked very well on your handshake as well that's a proper <laughs> handshake that you've got at the same time so I think you know all of us wish you you know the best of 2018 and who knows we may see you in a in a race car this season. Thank you thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs>